Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another great episode of LSPDFR. Um, unfortunately, last episode, if you guys watched this far, um, I had a, uh, a traffic stop on a uh, high-ranking uh, gang member, and he ended up um, destroying my undercover police vehicle. So, unfortunately, I do not have that. It's still in the shop for repairs, so we're still uh, going to be using this uh, police motorcycle. I'm still in complete shock that that even really happened. I've never seen that before. Like, I'm still trying to recover from uh, being tased twice, and then the uh, the minor burns and lacerations and stuff from the uh, <laughs> from the uh, explosion of my vehicle there. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and stop here and uh, grab some gas real quick because the vehicle that I commandeered um, didn't have a whole lot of gas in it. So, go ahead and get ourselves all filled out there. How's it going, Bob? You doing good? Business staying, uh, staying active for you? No? That's unfortunate. Attention Unit 1, Lincoln 18. We've got a 1099 in Grande Sonora Desert. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, pick up that call. Copy that. We're moving right now. Roger that. Respond code 2. Alright. Um, I can't seem to get on my bike. I just wanna get on my bike! I just want to get on my bike. Please? It's not letting me get on my bike anymore. Oh my god. I have to respond to this call, and it's not letting me get on my motorcycle anymore. For whatever reason. Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna have to get our- we're gonna have to, uh, call in and get ourselves a, uh, another vehicle here. Let's go ahead and get, um, a state patrol out here. Assistance required in Grande Sonora Desert. Respond code 3. Okay, so with these guys showing up, um, we're gonna go ahead and just commandeer their vehicle. How's it going, guys? Ooh, and it's an undercover. Beautiful. How's it going? Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. You can have that bike if you can figure out how to get it work. Alright, let's go. Code 2. Alright, dispatch, go ahead and show us code 2 to the, uh, assistance on the traffic stop there. We had, uh, some minor, uh, vehicle problems, but we are good to go now. Alright, so it looks like our traffic stop is up here. No, it's not. Where is it? Whoa! Okay. So it's actually on the freeway. It looks like it's just, yep, it's just right over there. So we're going to come on over here. See if we can't get these guys to stop for us here as we cut across traffic. Alright, good job guys for stopping. I'm proud of you guys for actually listening. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and park up behind this guy and assist him with the traffic stop here. Alright. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Do you see that vehicle in front of me? Uh, yes, I do. Registered owner is wanted. I've just checked the, uh, complication is they may have a firearm. Who's gonna go in for the arrest on this person? Um... This felony's mine. I'll take the arrest. Alright. Arrest the, uh, the wanted person. Alright, let's go. Alright, do me a favor and step out of the vehicle for me. Stop now. Okay, ma'am, go ahead and get on the ground. Oh! Drop the- Thank you for dropping the weapon. Whoa! Whoa! She freaking just pulled out a knife! Dude, back up! Um... Uh... I don't know what's going on. My guy is just stuck here. And, uh, I can't even pull out a weapon. And she took off, and I'm stuck standing here. <laughs> I don't know what the heck is going on here. I just wanted to help with the arrest. My officer, look, she's running down the freeway, and I am complete. Oh, she tripped, and I'm stuck. I can't even move, like, whatsoever. Hmm, interesting. All right, so I do apologize for that. I, uh, no idea what happened there. Um, I made the arrest, and then the, uh, 
he just did not want to move anymore. So um, <laughs> we went ahead and got our police bike uh, back again. Uh, they ended up getting it fixed. I guess it was an ignition problem. No idea. Uh, so at any rate, we uh, went ahead and uh, got our police bike back. The uh, Unfortunately, the undercover is uh, still uh, being worked on. So I just noticed that we just had this guy just ran. Oh, he's taking pictures. Okay, we're good. I just saw that his vehicle had stopped, and then he got out and started walking off. So I just was making sure everything was okay with that. So let's go ahead and make sure that we are good for calls. We are clear for calls, so we're good. So in the meantime, we're going to continue our patrol in hopes that we don't have any issues. Uh, we've had a couple of crashes uh, recently. I think it's because I've been adding in a couple more call-out packs, and the more mods you keep adding in, the more complications you start getting. Citizens report arson in Grande Sonora Desert. Respond code three. Arson. All right. Whoa. All right, so we've got an arson call. Uh, this is another first-time call, so we're going to go ahead and respond code 3 to this one. Okay, guys, watch out, watch out. Thank you for stopping. Appreciate it. Don't pull out in front of me. Ugh. These people, I swear. Thank you for pulling over. I appreciate that. All right, so it looks like our arson call is just up here on the left-hand side. Uh, we're heading eastbound on Joshua Road currently. All right, we are on scene of the arson call right now. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! I think he's carrying a Molotov, is what they're saying from the fire chief. We'll take care of this. Holy mother. Wow. So, um, where's the guy responsible for this? Okay, okay, stop, 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 stop. You clearly see that we're over here trying to do things. Can we not, like, cross over the road here, people? All right, so we've got some more... Uh, fire trucks showing up here. So the, these uh, firefighters are trying to put out the fires, but um, the person who did it apparently did it with a Molotov cocktail. But I'm not. I'm gonna look around and see if I can see anything. We got more firefighters arriving on scene. I'm not seeing anything back over here, and he didn't give me a whole lot of information as to who's uh, responsible for this. And I don't think there's really any other information he's going to give me. He's not going to talk to me anymore. So, um... Yeah. I'm not seeing anybody out here that could have done it. Let me check the notifications real quick and see if there was... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe that's where the suspect is. I see on the map over here... Maybe that's where the suspect last was seen. So let's go ahead and investigate that area. All right, safety first. Let's get our helmet on. All right, they've got this under control. Let's go ahead and check to see if that's where the uh, suspect was last seen. Let's go ahead and uh, signal our lights through this intersection here so we can get through safely. So apparently the suspect was last seen in this area. This looks like a very, very shady area here. Not seeing anything as of right now, though. Oh, I do see it. Oh, it just moved over here now. Okay, so I'm seeing the yellow circle. Oh, I see a guy running right up here. All right, this might be him here that's running away. Yep, he's got a mall. Oh! oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! 
Oh god, that. Okay, that's definitely him. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, swap over to the. You know what? Screw that. He just freaking threw a Molotov at me. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a uh, backup. Yeah. Oh, there goes my police bike. Dispatch, we're heading westbound on foot. Joshua Road. He just threw a Molotov at me and now disabled my my motorcycle. We're chasing him through the desert right now. Sir, stop. I do not want to have to shoot you. Sir, stop running. I swear to God, if you do not stop running, I will shoot you in the leg. Final warning. Stop running. Sir, stop running. All right. You're lucky I missed. Sir, stop running. Stop running. All right, I got him in the leg. Okay, stop. 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 Right there. Get on the ground. Get on the freaking ground. Cannot believe you just freaking threw a Molotov at me and then caught my freaking bike on fire. Attention all units. We are code four. No further units required. All right. Get on the ground. All right. Luca Rodriguez. Let's go ahead and run a uh, check on this guy. If that's how you spell it. License is valid. No active warrants. Let's go ahead and search him. Oh. I have no way of transporting him now since he found some used needles. So not only are you going to jail for arson, you're going to jail uh, for having possession of used needles on you. You're also going to jail for attempted manslaughter, um, assault with a deadly weapon on a police officer. Uh, you're going to be going away a long time, Mr. Rodriguez. Go ahead and sit right here for me. Get on the ground. Oh my god, would you freaking get on the ground? Alright, let's get a prisoner transport out here for this guy. Assistance required for a suspect placed under arrest in Grande Sonora Desert. Copy that! On the way! Roger. Hello. Alright, get up. Alright, you're going to jail for a long time. Have a good day, Mr. Rodriguez. Unfortunately, uh, you're going to have to get some medical attention for that gunshot wound to the leg, but you left me no choice. And I am also stranded since my uh, police motorcycle was um, disabled. This is the second uh, police vehicle now that has been uh, disabled now in the past couple of videos. I had the, uh, the, gang, uh, the gang violence one where they uh, ignited my car, and then I had the... Um, this guy here where he threw a Molotov at me and exploded my motorcycle. So it is what it is. But at any rate, guys, I'm going to run over here to the uh, local fruit stand and uh, hang out until I can get another uh, police car uh, delivered to me. Hopefully my undercover will be back and repaired. So thank you guys for watching some more LSPDFR. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys in the next episode.